Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited because I just received the um, July release box from Impression Obsession and it's literally hours right now before before the release. So I'm excited I received it in time. It was um, lost in Florida for some time, um, taking a vacation without me, but it finally arrived. So let me go ahead and share with you what's releasing um, for the month of July. So they're putting out some new stencils. Here's one of them. This is the one I thought was really beautiful. Uh, this is a poinsettia design. It's got little uh, berries there in the center. You can see all the beautiful leaves coming out from the center there. And uh, so I thought this was a really fun stencil. There's other stencils too, but this is the one that really caught my eye. Uh, there's a new uh, paper pad. Actually, there's four new paper pads. Um, two of them I've actually already shared with you because they were on the website uh, a little early and I shared them with you. But this is the month that they're actually officially releasing. So we took a look at the winter scenes um, pad a few videos ago. Um, so it's uh, six by six, uh, four of each design, and there's 12 unique designs, and they're, they're beautiful, like, photorealism uh, uh, images. So I think it's really, really lovely. Um, I love all these wintry trees, and uh, so I'm looking forward to actually using um, some of these for my Christmas cards this year. So isn't that one beautiful? It's, so many of them actually remind me of um, here where we live, and uh, so... And then it starts repeating. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that one. And then um, also the one I've shared with you previously um, is this one here. And it's called Autumn Scenes Pack. And also you get four of each of the 12 designs. You can see they're, again, photorealism. There's also some Halloween images in here. But these fall ones I think are really beautiful. I love this one here. I like the little foggy trail to nowhere some fall leaves, some spooky trees, spooky night sky. There's some beautiful storm clouds, a wheat field. This very much looks like around here, just uh, west of here. And this reminds me of a photograph that I could have taken in Texas when we were there. And actually we have some sunflower fields up um, just northwest of us as well. And again, here's another beautiful fall field. Some nice fall trees and then some headstones and then it repeats so really really beautiful and then also there are a couple of new paper pads as well that I can share with you this one's called fall floral again it's a six by six four of each design and there's 12 designs and uh, so we'll take a look at this one real quick so there's the fall tossed leaves. There's some distressing in the background there, and it's a fairly dark background. Here those same images are on an orange background. There are some uh, words here. This looks like, um, I don't know, interesting little typewriter font, like a light gray on white. That's nice. Here's um, a really beautiful one. This looks like an actual photograph that maybe has like a watercolor filter applied to it. So that's kind of beautiful. This one has some interesting geometric shapes, some butterflies, lots of distressing. distressing. It rem reminds me of the grunge um, cover a card stamp from Impression Obsession. And then here is uh, another interesting background and more geometric shapes in there with the green on green. And then this one has this beautiful script or uh, scroll here and then it has some text here in the background as well. There's some drawn leaves. I love this one. I think this is probably my favorite one from this paper pad. It's uh, just the orange and white stripe and it actually looks like fabric. I think that's pretty. And then there's this little leaf toss. Then there's this geometric print on a mustard or a um, green gold color. And then there's an orange and black um, print on a faded orange and white stripe. And then we have this one here, a leaf toss over the text and then it begins repeating. So really fun. And then the last paper pack that's available this month is this one here. It's called Homespun Floral Christmas and um, lots of country type colors. There's uh, some nice country blues, pinks, and uh, greens in here. So we'll take a quick look. I love this sheet here. I really love this blue color. Then there's some poinsettias um, on this sheet here with their dark background. There's this poinsettia here over like a, I don't know, like a wine colored lace or a deep cinnamon colored lace. Here is poinsettias on a different um, color print from the first page. It's like a gray and white print with the same pattern. 
And then here's the points that is over that blue uh, pattern from the first page. Here's a pretty aqua color that's got lots of distressing on the outside edges. There's also some like um, I don't know, waves or something in the background there as well. Here's a really pretty stripe. It looks like fabric. And of course it has extra distressing along the outside edges. Then here's a poinsettia on pink lace. And there is a tossed poinsettia. The poinsettia on it, like a green wood grain or an aqua wood grain. And the pink lace. And I think we might be repeating almost here. We've got this cream colored one. There's some poinsettias and there's just very faint um, details in the background here. Oh, here we, we are now we're starting to repeat. So very fun. Uh, that one is called Homespun Floral Christmas. So there are those. And then I'm already using one of my little um, Dollar Tree uh, pencil boxes to contain all my stamps and dies for the month. So we'll take a look at these. I do have dies releasing this month, which is always very exciting for me. Um, just because I love sharing my new die designs with you. These are all dies that were designed by me. This is called Scalloped Oval Tag. I really love this. I'm excited to have this for Christmas for gift tags. I think it's a really cute, whimsical design. And with this little stitching in there, it'll create lots of beautiful little tags. And it is also symmetrical. So you can create um, two of these and adhere them back to back. And that way the front of your tag looks nice and the back of your tag looks nice as well. This one I'm super excited about. This is called Vintage Santa Ornament. And um, he put him together uh, as an ornament, but you can actually use the ornament as a die itself um, if you don't want to decorate it as Santa. And then you have all the little bits and pieces to decorate Santa into the ornament. So really cute. Then we did um, some speech bubbles uh, that will fit some of the sentiments that are coming out for this month. Um, so there's uh, five different speech bubbles here. Three of them are the more rectangle shape, and then two of them here are the um, oval shape, and they go opposite directions. And then we have some round labels, and these are going to be really fun for, uh, there's actually a baby set, or a, like a, I don't know, year round, let's see, it's called All Year Sayings, and this one will be really fun to use with this one. So all of these uh, sayings of this stamp set will fit into these uh, round labels. And so you get two uh, stitched circles and then two scalloped circles. So this one, they've adhered it together. You could actually leave those together and die cut that <laughs> be cute little um, scalloped frame. But four uh, piece dies. And then there's rounded rectangle layers. And these again are really great for sentiments um, or creating little labels for things. So this is a six piece die set, all rectangles, all really nicely rounded corners. And then they have the stitching detail as well. And this one is uh, more of a square than a rectangle. So then we have some slim lines. This is a stitched slim line die set. I don't have the packaging for it, but this is what the die set looks like. It's a four piece die set. And so you get four frames and then a fishtail banner. And then there's stitched slimline layers two, and uh, these dies then actually uh, nest together. So if you had both sets, you'd have layers for all of the, uh, the dies in the set. So there is that slimline or stitched slimline layers and stitched sl slimline layers two. Uh, the original one has the fishtail banner, and the other one just has the three dies. Then there's decorative mini slimline. I love this. I've already seen some cute samples made with this. It has a fun um, detailed border um, die. And then inside there's a heart and another fishtail banner, which has some fun stitching. And this actually cuts a frame. It doesn't just cut a rectangle, but it actually cuts a frame um, and then leaves you with uh, an opening there in the center. Um, but I'm really happy with the way that the detail here is in the die. And instead of circles in between each of the um, etched um, detail I put a little square so just something a little different and then put a little bit of stitching on that heart and then of course some stitching at the end of the fishtail so I think that die set turned out really cute excited to use that one and then I'm really excited about this one I know with all our sewing projects um, pinking is a very popular um, design for sewing uh, just because you can create that look with pinking shears um, but I thought this one was fun I have added some of my crazy stitching here on the uh, frame itself and the um, pink
pinked circle instead of the scalloped circle. There's a little extra stitching. And then here's a pinked square as well that has a little bit of that fun stitching too. So I'm really excited about this one. I think it's going to be great fun to use on all of our sewing um, themed project projects. So really happy about that one. And then let's take a quick look at the stamps that are being released. I'll grab a piece of paper here so we can see these clearly. Uh, this set is from Jeannie and uh, it's called All Your Sayings. So you can see there's just uh, pretty much a sentiment for anything you could possibly think of. Babies, uh, new home, spring, birthday, Valentine's Day, graduation, cupcake, St. Patrick's Day. I mean, really, this is pretty much all year. <laughs> so really great set there. And then she also included this circle here, which kind of coordinates with that um, circle die set, the layered circles die set. So, so you could stamp that inside if you wanted your uh, die cut piece to have a solid stamped center that would work on that set. So there's that one from Jeannie. Then um, also from Jeannie, we have um, Anytime Sayings. And so this one is a smaller uh, four by four set, which brings the price point down. So happy for you, wish you were here, sending you a paper hug, best wishes, miss you, etc. So a really good set. And I love the typewriter font that Jeannie's been using. Then Jeannie, oh, Jeannie also has this one, which is Dear Santa. And uh, goes really well with the Santa die cut that uh, the orna Santa ornament. So there's Dear Santa, does goodish count, please define good, the cat did it, <laughs> stop judging me. <laughs> so, and then we also have a couple of sets from Nola. And there's this one here. This one is called Christmas Elves. Have your elf a merry little Christmas. You are the holly to my jolly. So they're cute little guys. And then finally we have this one. This is called Naughty List, also from Nola. And I think this is so cute. There's a cat here peeking out, obviously has climbed the tree. There's um, a couple or three little dogs here as well. This one is obviously found trouble in the tree. This one has found trouble in the tree and has stolen the stocking. And this one has clearly found trouble in the tree and is all tangled up in lights. There's a broken ornament here as well. So I think that's a really cute stamp to have in this set. And it's all fun and games until you wind up on the naughty list. <laughs> so really, really cute. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's what I have to share with you for the, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, July release and um, I'll leave links down below to the Impression Obsession site where all of these are available and I'm so excited to be able to share th things with you. I'm sorry I don't have anything die cut or stamped or any samples made but I literally just received this um, box uh, this afternoon so I was just happy to be able to create a video for you and show you what has been released. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and again I'll put links down below to the Impression Obsession site uh, so that you can check things out. So thanks so much for watching. Everyone have a great day. Bye!